who helped organize Commission to Mark from Carrion. He's been a great help putting this together, as well as Harold Rodell, Alexis Walters. I want to thank all your team from the mayor's office. Give the mayor's office a hand. Because why 
said, I got to pay three dollars for one place there, but they claim they pick up people and they do not. They claim they have so many lives and they do not. You got me. I got you. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> the, there's a huge number of complaints about access right now, as you said, run by the MTA. We have seats on the MTA board, we don't run the MTA, but we're trying to push the notion that for those who do not need the whole van and could, for example, be in a vehicle, that there may be other ways to get vehicles that would be more reliable and more available to folks in need. Other folks, of course, will need the whole van if they have to have certain disabilities. But accessoriety as is now is obviously not efficient. I don't know enough, to be honest with you, about whether money was used right or not. I just don't know. But I can tell you we're going to try and push the reform of accessory, particularly to diversify it, because again, for some seniors, they can get a ride with a different kind of vehicle and it would be a lot quicker, a lot easier. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Next on this side, I'm going in the back, I'm not going to stay right in the front. Sir, right here. Hello, everyone. Dr. Clifford Apollo. I'm just uh, trying to also uh, emphasize on what I just asked. I'm one of the uh, members of New York City Senior Citizens Advisory Committee, well back in the administrations of Edward Couch and the Bakers. I'm part of those who actually designed and implemented the Accessor Ride. Um, what Accessor Ride is doing this day is not what we had in mind when we implemented that crossroad. The fact that fair then wasn't a compulsory effect, it was a contribution. If you cannot afford it, you still get a, get a ride. It was to take care of the physically challenged, particularly the city of citizens. And these days, just like she said, they are taking them for a ride, and that doesn't feel comfortable. Which the mayor can do something. Uh, that part of that program during the time the ABA law was implemented was really a very big relief to the city of citizens and to all physical challenge the areas. But the purpose and the objective of that program seemed to have been defeated. Okay, you're on the yeah. first presidential speech. You cut off just in time. <laughs> okay. And yes, the focus the focus is we do we do need a form of access crime again push the state and push the MTA for that. So again, ask a question. Ask a question. So I'm gonna to come to this side. So when I come back to this side, oh you gotta ask a question. <laughs> so we're gonna to go to uh, one of our young folks here.
people stand up for each other. It's part of how you overcome the past. When someone stands up for someone that doesn't look like them, but they don't believe they should have to be a victim of bias or anything. So I think we can do it. Thank you. Those are the building blocks. 
Graduation rate now is over 70%. We want to get it to 80% in the next 10 years. Also, we want the diploma to mean a lot more because we all know very honestly that a lot of young people got a diploma, went, for example, to a CUNY school and then weren't able to do the level of work. We want a high school diploma to equal college readiness. That's what we deserve. Now, I would have a lot of trouble doing all this, except for a guy I know named Carl Hasty, who has made sure that when uh, those in Albany like to give lots of education funds to upstate New York or to suburban areas, which I'm very happy for them to have more too, but he always makes sure that New York City gets our share of that, which is allowing us to do these things. So that's the part of how we bring up the quality level and the college-going culture. Now, you also asked about family planning. I wish I knew enough about family planning in our schools. There's some things I'm not an expert on, but I want to see Toledo. Who's here from health? Someone was here from health. Thank you. Okay, so family planning. Dorita, you want that? Or health department, you want that? Health department! I'd like to learn something now. I don't know enough about our family planning efforts. Mm -hmm. Uh, good evening, I'm Dr. Bell. I'm representing Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett, um, and you touched on an area that we're actually working on very strongly uh, in the Bronx and the city, uh, which is to provide, ensure that the schools, so I hope I'm not speaking out of line to DOE, uh, and with DOE, we work in very close partnership with the Office of School Wellness mm -hmm. Programs to provide quality, comprehensive health education. That means good health education, including good quality uh, sex education that works and helps children understand their bodies and their choices, helps them as a whole lesson, come talk to your parent, uh, helps them understand what their parents' values are. And additionally, we are working as the health department, hand in hand with the Department of Education uh, to bring more school-based health centers into the high schools and bring the kind of care that teenagers need and deserve right into their schools. So a lot of good work going on. I have to say parenthetically that some of it is threatened by the changes that may happen in the federal government. Um, but New York City has made tremendous progress in bringing family planning uh, knowledge and uh, access to skills and real care uh, to teenagers all over the city, and I'm confident that we'll be able to continue to do that even if we take a bit of a hit uh, in the next four years. Thank you, Doctor. Very good on that, Doctor. Also, I want to add in the City Council last year, we provided funding for over 60,000 youth to get them on the right career track to make sure all our student youth that across the city have some of the jobs, and we've transitioned more money to make sure that we have all around. So we're going to be helping the city council along the way to make sure our young people have that opportunity. And when you talk about family planning, I'll be talking about raising your nephew to your nephew. I'll be getting ready to make out. Coming on, so the rule, like 
every six months, they were rule and rule, this rule and that rule coming out like that. And it's a, yes, so they were, you know, and I, when I, when they, if they pull them over, right, I can't identify myself to the man, like what I have in the community. No one is here, I can't see a visa. When they come, they come to the
We've changed the design in a number of intersections. These ideas work. And I can tell you a lot of drivers also know that all that is happening. It's starting to improve behavior. We have a lot of, around the holidays, a lot of police checkpoints. When we think there's problems of potentially people using too much alcohol, they will see lots of NYPD presses to remind them of the dangers of doing that. So it's the right design. We have a lot more to do, but I don't need that for a right time. Thank you. And then have to Look, the day we lost Ramarley Graham was a tragic day. There's no two ways about it. 
and I feel as a parent a lot of pain that he was lost. And the answer is yes, we have already announced that the departmental trial process is now moving, um, that I think will be resolved in the next few months. In other words, the whole process will be resolved next month. We made a public announcement a few weeks ago that that was moving forward. Um, and that will finally be the resolution of all this. We're not going to prejudge. You know, since you were on the force yourself, everyone is due their due process. There will be a public trial uh, on disciplinary matters, but that is about to be scheduled, and I believe the entire issue will be resolved at the end of the year or at the very beginning of January. Thank you. 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 Now, I'm back. 